Now I know a lot of people are gonna be looking at today's video and they're gonna think, oh, of course, Stephen has found something to moan about. Why can't Stephen just let people have nice things and be happy? Well, I don't have an answer for that, but I will tell you why TikTok is bad and why I think TikTok is a plague in our society and why we all need to kind of take a step back from TikTok and maybe reevaluate our life choices. One of the biggest issues I have with TikTok is the demographic of its users. So 41% of the market that use TikTok, and now that's 41% of 2 billion, let me remind you, 2 billion people is the age group of 14 to 24. So why is that a bad thing? Well, like any social media app, if you're under the age of 18 using these apps, TikTok is also like probably the worst one to use. They don't kind of take into account the age of the users. And there's no real censorship in terms of like adult material for certain age groups or anything like that. So young people, especially while their brains are still developing, are given a huge array of content that can be very damaging for them. And that's not even including the fact that, you know, generally speaking, social media tends to cause a lot of anxiety and depression in young people. Young people who tend to use TikTok a lot tend to feel more depressed because they do what a lot of young people do where you compare your own life to others and the problem with social media like we all know is that you only see the good things in people's lives so you can't help but feel like people are living these great lives and you're wasting your own and that's something that affects me as a 28 year old i can't imagine what it must be like for a 14 year old that's you know the brain is still very much underdeveloped there's still a lot of you know a lot of learning and a lot of growing to do that can be very damaging early on it can cause serious mental health issues you know on top of the fact that we're living in a world that's collapsing before our eyes TikTok does not help young people feel confident or feel good about themselves. It's also an issue where they use a lot of filters. So people are, are being shown to look more beautiful than they are and have these body types that aren't really possible. And if you're a 14 year old girl and you're seeing these things, but you don't understand video editing and photo editing and, and you know effects and everything like that, it really changes the appearance. It can have such a negative effect. And I really feel for anyone at that age using TikTok. Because another issue with TikTok is, is that it's very, very addictive. And a lot of users say that the average they would use a TikTok per day is an hour and a half to two hours. And they would open the app around 17 to 20 times a day. Now that's quite a high volume of time to be spending on any sort of anything really, but let alone TikTok considering how damaging it is. Now there's been a few studies done on this with young people is the attention span issue. But if you're being subjected to 15 second clips all the time, it really can mess up your attention span. If you're used to using something like TikTok when you're like 14 years old, good luck being able to like, you, you could see a plane crash, you know, and you fucking, oh look, a plane's crashing. And just before the moment of impact, you look away because you get you just can't hold your attention. Like TikTok is known for censoring people that goes against its own company ideologies. Now TikTok being a Chinese run company, they pretty much reflect their own Chinese government's policies and ideologies that they believe is right. So anything that's anti-Chinese, anything that goes against the, the honor of their country, people get banned left, right, and center. In researching for this video, I came across an article that was released in 2020 by The Intercept when they got their hands on some leaked documents that were leaked in 2019 that contained certain rules by the company in terms of what users were allowed and not allowed on their platform. It was called the ugly content policy. These are the rules that TikTok have implemented in. So abnormal body shape, chubby, have obvious beer belly, obese or too thin, ugly facial features, lack of front teeth, senior people too many wrinkles or facial deformities. The shooting environment itself can't be shabby or dilapidated, like being a slums rural area or have any sort of cracks in the wall or dirt or anything like that. So <laughs> This, this is the level of insanity like that I can't comprehend. So TikTok will ban you for that, which is the most insane thing I've, I've came across. And I was so surprised by this that TikTok actually ban you if they deem you too ugly. So they only want these like perfect people. And that must be very disheartening for users who are getting their content suppressed because they're not deemed attractive enough. You know, that must be very hard on your own mental health again, but also on your own self-respect and your own insecurities. The fact that this company is deciding that the content isn't applicable unless you look a certain way. Now we all know this kind of thing works in Hollywood, but to see this in a, on a video platforming site that's used by 2 billion users around the world is very disheartening. And the reason they give is also pretty fucked up. 
Unlike diverse videos of which the content itself is the main focus, in the non-diversified content the character himself or herself is basically the only focus of the video. Therefore, if the character's appearance or the video environment is not good, the video will be much less attractive, not worrying to be recommended to new users. So they're basically saying because the video has, like me right now, just me in my room, then the content's not worth watching. And people have noticed that their content's been suppressed because of this. Now that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous on so many levels. So anyone in China that outright complains about China, or anyone that has any negative press to have about China, they will get banned. Now like any other social media platform, uh, TikTok tends to follow these trends, these hashtags, and some of these hashtags and some of these trends and challenges as a lot of people would call them are pretty harmless. They don't tend to cause any problems for people that are doing them or the people around them. But there is these really fucked up trends that have gone around. And again, this really affects younger people who don't have the common social awareness like older people would, which means these challenges that are spread around, which aren't censored, which aren't policed in any sort of way, challenges that have caused users to die as a result. There are people now that are dead because they use TikTok. Now I know that sounds very dramatic, but let me explain. One trend is called the penny challenge. Now the penny challenge is basically a challenge where people would drop a penny between the plug socket and the socket itself. And this has actually caused virus in people's homes. So although it may seem like a relatively harmless prank, people's homes have burned down because of this. This has affected people's lives because of these ridiculous trends. We don't even know who sets these challenges. But there are challenges that like spread like wildfire, no pun intended. One challenge I wanted to mention was the Benadryl challenge. Now Benadryl, it's an antihistamine for people. So the challenge was the user is supposed to take as many antihistamine tablets as they could. As a full grown adult, you might look at that challenge and think that's idiotic. Why would anyone do that? But if you're a 14 year old boy or a 14 year old girl and you want to fit in and all your friends are doing it and you want to be popular, and you might think as well, a lot of young people do, that taking over the counter medication isn't that bad for you. People were taking like huge, huge quantities of these pills and a lot of them were ending up in hospital and there's been some cases of people that have died because of, of overdosing on these pills. Um, they only do it because of the trends that are set by TikTok, that is allowed to spread by TikTok. It's, it's pretty fucked up. There's no other way of phrasing that. There's countless challenges I could go through. I could spend a whole video on just TikTok challenges, but for the love of God, if you're young and you're watching this video, please don't take part in some of these challenges. They're absolutely ridiculous. Some of them are harmless, some of them are okay, but oh, like fucking around with drugs or, or stealing things, it's just not a good idea. It never will be a good idea. And it's not worth the whatever social media clout that you will get for that. So what do you guys think about TikTok now? Have I convinced you? TikTok to me is certainly more damaging for the reasons I gave. And to be fair, a lot of those reasons you may have known, you may not have known, but I think, I hope anyway, that people, if there's any young people watching TikTok or using TikTok that are watching my video, the only thing I'll say is if you want to use TikTok, you know, your choice, you're totally entitled to do that. Just be careful, just think about the time you're spending on it. Remind yourself that what you're seeing on TikTok is not real life. And the best thing to do is not to compare yourself to other people, um, if you can. And just try to limit the time you're using it because it's like, like any social media, it's actually doing more harm than good. So I hope that people that watch this now, I'm probably gonna get banned by China, but anyway. Because I have such, I have such a, uh, political impact in Ireland based on my content <laughs> that China are gonna be like fuck that guy thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed today's video like always if you can share like subscribe it really does mean a lot I have gotten a few new subscribers so if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel I hope I haven't offended any of you guys and um, if you want to follow me on TikTok it's at Steamart no money joke um, I'm on Instagram Steamart um, so I am a hypocrite I am a hypocrite um, but thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video, peace out.